everyone welcome to rainbow tv today we have vascular specialist dr sailesh kumar with us let us get awareness regarding male infertility problem varicocele let us talk to him hello sir hello hi hi so firstly what is meant by varicocele so varicocele uh, first we need to understand the, um, the testis has two types of blood vessels one is the artery which carries the impure blood to the testis and another is the vein which carries impure blood from the testis back to heart and lung for purification okay. so varicocele uh, is nothing but is a swollen dilated tortuous veins around the testis mm -hmm. so around the testis in the uh, in the scrotal that is the the bag of the uh, the testis okay. so when you have the swelling in these veins the blood don't move or circulate from testis back to the heart so this impure blood in the veins they stay around the testis mm -hmm. and this impure blood with its toxins or chemicals or free radicals it causes damage to the testis and patient experience different kind of symptoms uh, and signs because of this uh, impure blood so then what are the symptoms sir? so they uh, one is the pressure related symptoms means okay. when the veins are swollen that causes different symptoms like pain swelling you find those bulge veins mm -hmm. and this pain is not something very severe and all it's mm -hmm. a um, something very uneasiness kind of some disturbing pain uh, it's not very sharp pricking but dull, but dull aching pain mm -hmm. and it comes and goes uh, especially when the patient stand or uh, work or run jump mm -hmm. uh, or do exercise and all because during that time because of the gravity the blood get pulled into the uh, mm -hmm. the bottom of the testis and uh, when the blood get pulled, these veins are swollen, one, veins are stretched and once you have the stretching of veins and then they experience these symptoms. Okay. So that is one kind of symptoms. Another is, uh, <coughs> I won't say symptom, uh, it is an effect of that, uh, the mm -hmm. varicocele, that um, um, the patient, the testis has two functions. One mm -hmm. is the, to produce the sperms, another is, is the hormone. Uh, mm -hmm. because of which the, uh, the sex related uh, feelings, libido, mm -hmm. um, uh, orgasm, all those are because of the testosterone hormone, that is male, uh, male hormone, okay. like how in ladies uh, estrogen and progesterone female mm -hmm. hormones are there. So uh, when the sperms are less, we know that they are not able to become father or they, um, and they will experience that infertility uh, issue because mm -hmm. of the low sperm. And if you have um, uh, testosterone uh, related, then you have the uh, problems related to the sex problems like they may not be having that fee they may not be developing the feeling to have that yeah. or they may have the uh, retrograde ejaculation mm -hmm. um, or sometimes they uh, don't last for long because of this uh, hormone deficiency so these are different uh, group of symptoms they can experience uh, most of the times uh, it is the first effect is the effect on the sperms because okay. the sperms are the one which are very sensitive mm -hmm. and once the sperm quality goes down or the motility goes down the count also goes down mm -hmm. and later uh, the hormone levels start drops mm -hmm. so if you have a dropping of hormone levels then you means that you are at the already mm -hmm. in the advanced stage of the disease okay. but if you have only the motility going down mm -hmm. quantity of the sperm quantity the count is normal and hormones are normal it means that you are in the early stage mm -hmm. and most of the times these uh, varicocele they are incidentally detected sometimes they may not be having any symptoms only mm -hmm. uh, in the early stage especially because mm -hmm. varicocele uh, clinically is a grade three grades are there grade one is a mild grade uh, grade 3 is the advanced grade and uh, mm -hmm. so mild moderate and severe grades similarly radiological so uh, once we do the clinical examination to find out we do the if required we go for the scanning that is simple uh, doppler scanning where we find uh, and grade it in five grades mm -hmm. from grade 1 to grade 5 that is mild to severe grade mm -hmm. so similarly grade 1 and grade 2 are the mild grade grade 3 is the moderate grade and four and five is a severe grade. So most of the times three to any grade more than three to four on the ultrasound, if they are having symptoms or there, if there is effect on the sperm or uh, hormone effect, then definitely we, uh, they require treatment to prevent further damage mm -hmm. uh, and to restore the uh, whatever the, the sperm or the hormone levels are there. If they are grade one and grade two and without any symptoms, without any effect on the hormones and all, probably we can manage them conservatively conservatively in the sense medications change in lifestyle if their st standing job is there mm -hmm. those diet related the the cloths and also because mm -hmm. um, wearing tight jeans or tight underwear sometimes it increases the temperature in the local and that's the reason veins also swell up so change in lifestyle uh, change in diet 
if any bad habits like smoking and alcohol because um, um, uh, when you have you, when you smoke and all the blood supply to the testes reduces and mm -hmm. uh, the probability of impure blood going to the impure blood going to the testes and the test this nicotine effect mm -hmm. the, it has significantly lowers the sperm production okay so change in lifestyle and we can manage with one and two definitely if the three and four but with symptoms or effect on the sperm definitely they require uh, proper treatment like surgery okay. or uh, some non surgical treatment like embolization surgery okay. um, one is open surgery uh, in the olden days and still now also in a few mm. of the hospitals we are doing it mm. where we cut identify those veins tie them and close it mm. in the there is another variant of this which is uh, mm. in surgically most of the um, surgeons they say it is as advanced that is micro surgery like using the microscope they do the surgery mm. where the complication risk is very less and you are the success rate is a little high compared to the open surgery okay. but uh, you a lot of patients because these patients are young patients especially mm. 15 to 25 30 age or groups of, okay okay uh, at engage yeah engage so they are scared of surgery so we mm. at our hospital we have completely non surgical treatment they, mm. there are no cuts no sutures no cuts on no sutures on the private parts so you need not to worry that because a lot of these young boys they get scared because mm -hmm. of the scar marks uh, on the on the scrotal area mm -hmm. so uh, we don't do anything at the local part we go through the the leg vein or a hand vein and we tr try to reach it uh, till the these uh, veins through the inside only blood tubes and we try to close it like we call it as a internal stitches how the surgeons they cut from the outside then they tie the end uh, with the thread we go from inside and put coils or sometimes uh, glue embolization or foam uh, to seal those veins it's mm -hmm. completely non surgical it is done in 15 minutes no mm -hmm. cuts no blood losses no stitches uh, no fear of any damage to the testes because we are never come out of these veins and major advantage of uh, this non surgical treatment compared to the mm. uh, surgery whether it is micro surgery the advanced micro surgery or this the big, this is complete non surgical and there are no complications associated with this surgery which are there in the uh, embolization which are there in the surgery whether it is micro surgery or open surgery because whenever you cut the skin you identify those veins so veins are the one which doesn't run alone they run with arteries mm. they run with lymphatics and they run with nerves mm. so these are the four structures so you have to identify veins and separate these three from the veins and only tie this uh, veins mm. so inadvertently if the surgeon is not experienced or even if the surgeon is experienced by invert even if they don't want and they get these structures get injured that can have a permanent damage to the testes like if the artery is damaged then there is no the blood supply to the testes and testes goes in gangrene and become black mm -hmm. and your lifelong you will lose that testes mm -hmm. if the lymphatics is damaged then you can have the hydrosis that is water bag okay. water bag formation and if you have the nerve then you can lose the touch sensation or the feeling sensation and that that can be permanent lifelong so these disadvantages or the risks complications associated with the surgery they are completely not there because mm -hmm. we are within the vein we are going through your leg we are within the vein and we are within the vein closing from inside only and then come out so we never come out of the vein so there is possibly 0% damage to the artery lymphatics and vein so that is the major advantage of uh, our embolization treatment mm -hmm. and it is completely non surgical no need to worry mm -hmm. or any scar mark at your private parts and all Mm. so uh, that's a big advantage of this embolization okay so is it okay if patient comes to you at the final stage or third fourth stages because mild symptoms or no symptoms they will neglect it see definitely sometimes uh, uh, because a uh, uh, lot of even this boys in boys because it is at, at private mm. parts so they may not share it with their parents as well or they may not share it with their brothers or mm. siblings also because sometimes they feel shy or they are very scared to tell them so sometimes they get de delay these things and land up in a very later stage mm. um, e even if it is in the later stage if, even if they don't have symptoms they can do the treatment to prevent the damage because if you leave it like that mm. definitely uh, it is going to damage because this impure blood 
carbon dioxide, free radicals, these will damage the testes at microscopic level, microcellular level and these damage sometimes can become permanent. So in future, if even after doing this treatment, you may may not reverse the damage which has happened to testes. Okay, okay. So it is very important. So it's not only because even if your sperm or hormone levels are normal, but still if you are having symptoms like pain and all, you need treatment. You can't uh, because you can't take painkillers for uh, for the uh, rest of the life, life just to the pain because the pain is sometimes debilitating. You are not able to concentrate or work or study or mm -hmm. do your work because it's very disturbing and the patient sometimes psychological also get disturbed. I see a lot of patients they they are very anxious and uh, repeatedly ask the same question. That means they are mentally disturbed with this varicocele. Thank you sir for the time and uh, sharing your information.